Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Turner. So today I have the update for the project Sam Pan last year. This is a project created by Shelley and it's all about the holidays or special days during the year that we can celebrate, right? Or the months and so on. And based on those uh, prompts, you pick your products and work on them. This project is started actually on January 8 and it goes until December 8 of this month. Uh, of this year not this month <laughs> a month is not 20 what is it 12 months long or 10 months long whatever and so this is a, a project you know where you actually um use a product that you have you know gathered together um long time ago so she says for example this is a place for all your neglected items and so on so um, based on that i started to work on this project of course because i have a lot of neglected items and so far I have finished out of 35 products, more or less, you know, I, let's say I started as well, um, let me see, 24, 20, 26. I finished so far or started 26 uh, prompts out of 35. So now let me show you what I still have in this project or had in this project. And then uh, we go from there. So I had, for let's say prompt number eight that was for the day bup, 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 what is it uh, st patrick's day march 17 a green item uh, or a leprechaun item i had actually this green eyeshadow let me open it up for you because uh, so the, that you can see it's green it's like a moss green you know forest green color from um what was it essence in the shade grinch i wanted to use it five times within this project I used it five times therefore this one rolls out so that one is gone now that was one of the last you know prompts that i had to you know still do on the first page so let's go to the second page because i have printed out all the you know prompts and then let me start with uh day number three or actually it's a month uh, you know the latin heritage month september 15th to october 15th uh something from a latino brand so and i put in actually the reina del caribe eyeshadow palette from alamar cosmetics you know so and i wanted to use this little guy five times i used it five times just to show you i think these two you know bottom shades how you want to see them are the most used ones you can also see that there is are dips going on i have not started to use you know the shades above because i was always focusing on these two matte shades so there you go that one is done then number 24 was something uh sweetest day october 21st a uh, sweet item or an item you got from your sweetie uh, i actually put in the cotton candy uh, eyeshadow palette from uh, bh cosmetics you know because i had this previously in my um level up project level up uh, and so on and you can see that there are two pans going on so I wanted to use this one a little bit more. Oh no, I spilled the eyeshadow everywhere because it is a very powdery formula. So even the glitter, you know, the let's say the glittery shades are everywhere. So you have to be careful when you are working with this one because um, yeah, it goes on your clothes and so on. So anyway, I used it five times. So therefore this one rolls out. Then let's go to the next day or month. So that's number 25 and number 25 was halloween october 31st halloween themed uh, from a halloween release or something spooky and for that i actually pulled in from revolution uh, makeup the nightmare before christmas uh you know highlighter that they had and you can see that there is a pumpkin skeleton face you know so and that little guy i want to use it five times i used it five times i mostly used you know um the eye you know what is highlighter like i rubbed my finger here below this pumpkin face i didn't want to destroy the pumpkin face yet or actually here you can see here maybe yeah i used it like this as well as this way so that one is also done yeah quite happy about my progress in this one and number 26 was final um, that was Day of the Dead, November 1st and November 2nd, a graveyard item as a uh, nod to Emily of Emily and Max or pick a prompt from Jen and Kim's Day of the Dead project pen on the Fantastic Ladies page. So 
that little guy was then this lip gloss that I had. I wanted to use it 20 times because this one I put in, I believe, in several rounds of the Graveyard Project pen. And you can see now it shows me some, you know, windowing as well as the actual product might be here, you know, but it's still, of course, uh, because of the air, you know, it's also on the sides, but the most majority of it, or, you know, you can see it's here. So, yeah, I wanted to use it 20 times. I used it 20 times, therefore this one rolls out as well. Now, what I decided is actually, I'm going to pull in all the remaining days or the prompt for the remaining days and months and try to finish it until next month. Let's see if I'm able to do that. I am not sure about it, but, or maybe until December, you know, 8th, I'm not sure, but I will try to finish it as much as I can because I've not really decided on the goals that I want to set myself with these products so yeah but let me show you the days that we still have you know Thanksgiving November 23rd an item you are thankful to have in your collection <sighs> that's a long story you know long story short just I have a lot of blushes I am really grateful to have blushes in my collection and so on so uh, that's not a big thing Hi uh, you know blushes highlighters so you name it so in that sense i cannot pick one product and neglect the others so i what i decided was i actually just wanted to exemplary i wanted to pull in this blush this is from uh revolution you know so if i hold my what is it if i show it to you like this this is from revolution i am not sure about the shade actually because i just you know pulled the sticker uh, yeah tore the sticker apart Maybe I want to use it five times, you know, just a little bit of use and then put it in other projects. So let's say five times, you know, just maybe five to ten times for every product that I'm going to present to you. And then I'm OK with that, you know. So uh, then number 28, Black Friday, November 24th, an item you got from a Black Friday sale or got on a super sale. So on a super sale or Black Friday sale, I think the last one that I did was uh, with Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This one was 30 percent off. I believe of 50% off if I'm not mistaken and yeah this is the pink Moscato wasted face and body highlighter so from give it me glow and you know the packaging itself is similar to the MAC cosmetics you know uh, blushes and so on and uh, highlighters so again five to ten times let's let's keep it that way then number what is it number 29 winter a winter themed item and uh, now 30 number 30 holiday including Christmas Diwali, etc., etc., and so on. Something from the holiday season or related to any specific holiday. So, with that regards, I have here actually Arctic holiday. So, in the Antarctica, there's always winter, right? So, it's always cold, etc. And because it is uh, from the holiday release, you know, from Kiko Milano, this is an Arctic holiday uh, baked blush in ma uh, Memorial. I believe I pronounced it correctly. Uh, you know, this is the shade uh, Memorial Biscuit. Why not use it then in this case 10 times at least or 20 times? You know, if uh, I have to see how I like it. Maybe 10 times minimum for each, uh, for both prompts. So, and then roll it out. So that's something then. Number 31 then is Boxing Day, December 26th for all my friends from Great Britain, Canada, Australia. A budget item in honor of the day, prese uh, of the day presents were given to servants, tradespeople and the poor. So what did I put down for that one? I put down this blush. You know, this is a little bit blush heavy, but I admit that, but still. And this is from Makeup Academy. This is a blusher shade one. So it's a powder blush. It is... It opens like this from the side so you have it here and you know on maybe it looks to you pink to me it looks peachy and you know let's say so I don't know if you can see it it is very very pale on my skin so uh, if I rub it you don't even see that I have it on so of course I have to build it up but you know, the, with these kind of shades that I have in my collection, I prefer to use them as face powder, finishing powder. So because, you know, if I once I apply them, they ju the pigment, you know, the in that sense, the color pigment just disappears and only the powder in that sense remains, uh, let's say. So I, I prefer to use this kind of stuff like this. So 
10 times use or you know so five to ten times ten times use that's fine with me uh, for that mm -mm -mm -mm. let's see then 32 an item you got for your birthday including birthday sets from Sephora Alta or even yourself so um, I could not find actually powder products that I received from Sephora you know the they had this set with the cream bronzer from NARS as well as a, I believe the, either the powder blush or powder bronzer I could not find it it's still I think in the in the box with the makeup that I have not categorized or you know put in my makeup sheet uh, makeup inventory sheet so therefore I decided you know what I have these little guys here two of them so I would you know from MAC cosmetics these NC30 uh, you know powders that they give gave as um, you know as gifts with purchase and so on so uh, I have two of those yes yeah both same the shade you know I think one was used a little bit already if I'm not mistaken or no it looks like both are not used maybe I used the, the other one already I don't know but yeah I have two of them again you know uh, maybe I will use them to blend out my eyeshadow or I will try to you know repress them and put them also as a powder face powder in uh, yeah so let's say for these ones again uh, 10 times for both 10 uses you know so both together why not then 33 presents any item you have gotten as a gift for any oh okay oh okay 32 and 33 are similar so uh, 33 is presents and I, any item you have gotten as a gift for any reason including gift with purchase so as I said you know then this is for 33 and 34 okay then 33 uh, 32 sorry 32 and 33 and 34 is um special occasion something you got for or are saving for a special occasion what are you waiting for so what are you waiting for i asked myself that as well so because i have this little guy here this is from Rimmel London from the Kate Moss collection. Back in the day they had it. It's a uh, moss green eyeliner. And maybe I can use it as a kind of, you know, if it, had, if it has not dried. Oh, it looks like it has dried. You see there are some old stuff in my collection. Maybe I can, you know, make it, uh, bring it to life again with Dura line. Uh, use it as an eyeshadow base for my green makeup looks that I want to do these days. So. I will not declutter it, I will try it out and let you know in the next update or the finale actually how I dealt with this one. So you see it helps to you know to use this kind of stuff as soon as possible and I have several of these guys so uh, it looks like I have to buy a lot of Duraline. Uh, so that's the one you know so still the goal is five to ten times so and then number 35 is collab any item from a collaboration so and here i have this little pa palette because this is a melissa palette with melissa x uh, melissa x uh, juvia's place or and as you can see here this is like a you know four you know four shades two mattes two glittery shades this is a glitter and this is a shimmer shade and yeah i got this twice because I actually bought the blue one or I ordered actually the blue one as well as the pink one and then they sent me two times the pink one so I cannot return it to Juvia's place because then I need to pay you know ship for the shipping and I don't get the uh, you know customs, customs costs back anyway because it's a wrong delivery on their part but it is what it is so anyway I see now that there's actually another prompt last prompt is add your own special day and create a prompt if uh, if I've missed one, you celebrate. Um, no, <laughs> I have enough projects going on, so I don't think that I missed any day or I want to have any particular day that I want to celebrate. So let's keep it that way. Try to finish um, many products as I can with this, you know, uh, in within this project and see what will happen. Anyway, this was my little update for the project Same Pan last year. I hope you enjoyed it. I see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.